And I don't want to go to the hospital right now. This is coronavirus time. I don't need like beaver fever. Or, I don't know. Something. So I came across this pond here. Looking pretty awesome, eh? Oh, look at that, that crud. Ugh, gross. But the awesome thing about this water bottle is that I can actually take water from this type of dead sitting water and actually purify it enough to drink. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Just clean up a little water here. Okay. Sun, summer. What? Sun, summer. Uh, babe, you ruined my video. <laughs> Supposed to be out in the woods. <laughs> so just for everybody that thinks this was staged, yes it was. But also, this pond is pretty nasty. And I'll tell you, like when I say nasty, I know what's in it because it's in my backyard. There's like a bucket of broken something plastic. And, and not only that, there's some like cat pee carpet in the bottom of this pond. Check it. See that? I, I was getting it to armor the bottom when I go to put the lining on. It's a cheap way of doing it, apparently. Saw it on YouTube. But... Yeah, cat pee carpet, man. I'm drinking out of that. All right, so here we go. Filled it up straight out of cat pee carpet pond. And uh, I'm gonna do, let it do its thing and I will drink it. This is legit, man. Lark, you better not fail me, man, because this is gross. I don't know about it. This is the uh, Lark self-purifying water bottle and it uses a UVC, oh look, there we go. UVC ultraviolet purifying light. So basically what this does is it kills organic material right at the DNA level. So viruses and bacteria. Now for, <coughs> I got Rona. I haven't even drank this thing yet. Basically what it does is it kills viruses and bacteria, 99.9997 I think it is for bacteria and 99.99 for viruses. So hey, thinking about uh, how many germs are flying around these days, might not be a bad idea to think about one of these. The other cool thing that some people are doing is they're actually just taking these um, UVC lights and they're putting them in boxes with reflectors in them and they can stick their cell phones inside those boxes. Uh, I'll throw a picture of, of, of that and be kind of like a home DIY decontamination thing. Very neat. Who knew, right? So I filled this up and basically what you do, I don't know what I'm doing here. Hang on a second here. It says once for normal mode, twice for adventure mode. Do not interrupt the purification cycle by removing the cap. Here we go. This is adventure mode for sure. It adds a longer cycle. So one, two, and there it goes. And it starts pulsing blue. So here we are, still going. How long does two minutes take? Maybe it's more than that, I don't know. The longer, the better. The type of water I, it stopped. Oh, here we go, boys. Here we go. All right, I don't know if I wanna do this. You know, I was thinking maybe I should pour this out into uh, a cap like a glass cap so you can see. Maybe I'll do that. Just hang on a second. Do not fail me now, Lark. Oh man. I mean, the, the presence of particulates are expected because this isn't like a physical filter. It's a decontamination device. So, but this doesn't look too bad at all. Cheers, cat pee pond water. What can I say? Cat pee, pond water, is the water for me. A little bit of earthy taste, but not bad at all. Not, ex <clears throat> I expected far, far worse. Granted, I'm not a super taster, but <sighs> it's pretty good. Can't complain about that. The cap. 
there's some weight to it because there's a battery in it, USB plug. A nice solid seal, double walled stainless steel. This one just kills all the crud. It doesn't necessarily take particulates out, but you don't have to replace filters. And the filters on the on on these other cartridge-based purifying water bottles are extremely expensive. This one, all you have to do is charge it up. I, I really like that. I think that's far more sustainable and a lot cheaper in the long run. So my first impressions are good, but that's not good enough. I realize that, you know, just one test drinking out of a pond isn't good enough, but how is it on everyday life? That's why I'm gonna give it a test for a couple weeks and get my wife to test it out. If I don't get sick, you know, within a couple days, that's a really good sign. And then this, and then we'll check out what, how things roll. Three days later. <laughs> I'm just kidding people. I didn't get sick. I'm totally fine. It's been over a week. No gastro things, no stomach issues, totally fine. Um, obviously that's not scientific. If you want the scientific stuff, just go over to my full written review at wellrig.com and you can have at it over there. Also, if you're actually interested in picking up this water bottle before I forget, the link's down below and you can check it out yourself there. All right, on to the next thing then. Well, uh, 24 hours ago, four o'clock exactly, I put a ton of ice inside this thing, filled it with water, and I let it stand at room temperature. Now it's 24 hours later, and let's see what we got. Ah, just water, nothing. Or am I wrong? Oh my goodness, check this out. Let me turn this light on for a sec. I wanna see if you can see, that is a ton of ice. Can you see that? I don't know, man, that's crazy. That's unbelievable. We're talking about half this thing still full of ice 24 hours later. That is good stuff. Mm-hmm. Ice cold. Okay, so we're just gonna take a close up look at the Lark bottle right now. First of all, you'll notice there is a uh, little USB plug there. I'm not sure if you can see that. And that is charged by a micro USB. And I like to use something along the lines of this, or you can use a portable power bank if you'd like. It's very simple. Just plug it in like this and I'll just power it up. And, what, and you'll know it's charging when you see this green breathing light happening, okay? So that's charging mode. It takes about an hour to an hour and a half the first time, but a charge can last a month or more. I think it's like 12 days if you're using it nonstop in adventure mode, but up to six weeks. So this is 25 ounce in Monaco blue, but there's at least four or five colors you can get it in. This is powder coated double stainless steel, 18-8 stainless steel with a polished interior, which allows the light even to bounce around and hit even the corners. Some people have said, well, what about the corners up where the uh, head of the, where the cap is? And they said, basically, if you swish the bottle and swishing the bottle and combined with the reflection of the light inside kills even the, even the bacteria and viruses up in the cap area. Again, I'll just show you the modes here. One click is is for self-cleaning in normal mode. And then if you unscrew this, you'll notice that it stops immediately and it goes red. That's the safety mechanism working. And then for adventure mode, it's a double tap. And there it goes. Doesn't taint the water. It just kills the bacteria and the viruses. Adventure mode is about three times stronger than no normal mode, so it's meant for really um, blasting things. All right, so what's my final synopsis after a week uh, with this bottle and letting my wife test it out? She, she noted that it's a great, especially during coronavirus time, you know, to have a, a reliable, clean source of water is an important time, an important thing for sure. The other thing is if you're an immunocompromised person, this bottle, really literally could be a lifesaver, taking care of both viruses and bacteria. The other um, 
person that I think would be really interested in this is somebody that's into hiking and outdoors, camping and things like that. There's several reasons why this bottle is overall more practical than a filter-based bottle. First of all, filter-based bottles are not thermal, so they're not gonna hold water, uh, hold cold water for very long. They're usually plastic and quite bulky. The other thing is, is that filter-based bottles use large filters. They use up a lot of the volume of, of the actual bottle for the filter, so it means you can carry less water. And then thirdly, and probably the most important thing about, about this bottle over others is it actually kills viruses. Filter-based bottles can't. They, they can't filter out viruses. So, so that's actually the, the main thing about this one is it actually kills viruses and bacteria. So another person that might be interested in a Lark water bottle would be somebody who goes to the developing world quite often internationally and have to deal with uh, unverified water sources on a frequent basis. This means you could actually go to a bore well with relatively clean water, put the water in, and sanitize it and be sure that you're not going to get sick. I do nonprofit work in, in Africa. I'm telling you right now, the next time I go to Africa, I'm taking this Lark bottle with me. So if you're into durable products, durable practical products, consider subscribing. Thanks for hanging out and I'll catch you guys next time.